right folks now I want to show you how I will finish this art frame the other day some of you were watching me on a live video session so now I want to show you how I cut with the market knife uh, and make the finishing of the frame so I will be needing to cut carefully not to you you gotta be gentle not to cut the, the piece of the actual wood part and uh, easy slowly smooth and straight cut uh, on the axis towards the axis of your straight hand and like that Let's make the knife shorter and one more cut and it will be ready for further painting. Here it is. Now what I usually do is I uh, sign this and this is the art salt uh, the salt gates of Sigit. This is a fantasy, um, fantasy art of my collection. Well, let me show you now. I use this Italian, which is very, very hardly close. Let me make a little bit enlargement to the color. So yeah, I use a uh, soft, very soft. Uh, this is a uh, animal, I think. Uh, hair, I'm not sure, it might be synthetic, but this is a very very thin thin hairs uh, brush and uh, I use this Italian eco-friendly more than to color the sides of the miniature R because as you can see here and there it is not painted well, that's why I paint it now to uniform the colors of the cardboard and of course also of the wood. Let's do like that. It sucks very fast the modern. Don't be worried that this was going to be wet. It will dry in a couple of hours. It will be very dry. I want to pass again to make better uniforming of the color and the four the fourth side also just like that now i will carefully pass one more time the frame like that be careful not to too wet your actual art print this uh, is an art print it's not an original art here this is printed with my Epson printer Epson L3256 model that I recently bought on a leasing uh, and I'm very happy with uh, with it but uh, anyway I'm still experimenting for finding the best options from YouTube videos uh, and I'm researching uh, YouTube videos uh, for people that have the same model of print and I want to make the best possible um, high quality print I believe this is not the best possible variation so I'm still researching uh, different uh, pa papers glossy fully glossy, matte and, uh, and other like that. Also I'm researching the specific uh, setups that can be used uh, because with the Epson program for printing together that goes with the printer you can print various uh, types of qu quality, low quality, medium quality, high quality and also different um, setups can be chose uh, for pixeling and for other stuff. So it's kind of uh, 
uh, one needs to learn a little bit more to be able to make uh, the best uh, possible prints with uh, the printer with, with that he got, he or she got. We always need to learn better uh, the options, all the, the, all the options down the way. So this frame is ready now. When it's dry, I am going to uh, sign it in, uh, in the back. I will leave this for now to dry and I will be making more like these art frames uh, in the near future. Like I have prepared some more prints. As you can see, uh, I, I will make more and more of these art frames. With these tiny fr uh, unframed prints I use to make the finish. And this is the cardboard I use. Uh, this is leftovers from crafting my handmade journals and sketchbooks. Uh, uh, this is very good material for, for crafters. And of course my mini lumber materials that I use to craft also my miniature furniture here. Uh, I, I also use popsicle sticks like beach popsicle sticks like this one to craft these uh, as you see handmade miniature boxes transporting boxes with cups uh, and yep I'm into crafting today I just uh, chose a winner on my giveaway hello guys uh, please follow me on TikTok and on YouTube and uh, follow my contact if you're interested uh, and see you in my next video bye bye